Clean your eyes out, girl. Come on. Hey, it's me, your skin. Sun cleansers get us clean. But take my moisture. CeraVe cleanser is potent maintaining my moisture balance with hyaluronic oh. acid plus the oh. essential cyanides to help restore my natural barrier. So we're CeraVe. CeraVe hydrating cleanser. Challenge. Hello everyone and welcome to my new let's play. It is Crash Nitro Kart. I am so damn excited to be playing this game. Uh, we get two choices of what team we want to play as. Crash or Cortex. Now that's pretty awesome. I'm going to be generic and choose Team Bandicoot. Um, just because. Maybe when there's some more challenges I, I would change 
uh, my Ooh, character to him. them, like, you know, some more, like, multimedia, maybe some race and stuff like that. Uh, let's give myself a name. Let's call myself, um, oh, I'll, I'll just call myself, uh, maybe Tyrion, yeah, that's a cool name. Tyrion Lannister from Game of Thrones fame, fame with an O, with a zero instead of a, uh, an O or an O. Yeah, whatever. Okay, uh, let's go to end, and that's it, let's start. Now we're going to get another cutscene. The cutscenes in this game are great, by the way. Let's select the game. Yes, let's save data. This is the PS2 version, this is the PAL version, just for anyone that wants to know the technicalities of it all. There we go, save successful. Okay, maybe, maybe I'm sold easily. Maybe I'm sold easily, but, I mean, that opening cutscene, that, that... Interests me, you know what I mean? It, it's good, like both the opening cutscene and the cutscene just then. You know, it kind of gives you a feel of the original Crash Bandicoot. You see the original stuff. Anyway, let's let's uh, we're gonna do the first level, so we're gonna continue with that saving because who cares? You will have to race in order to win the galaxy circuit. So I'm going to skip most of the Aku Akus because I just want to explain it myself. There's nothing in integral to the cutscenes or anything. So this is the main world, this is the first world, Terra, and you see that, you know, it's meant to be, like, kind of implied that it's Vel Vela or Vela, its own world, but it looks very reminiscent of the original universe, so maybe it's just, like, got some kind of clone universe or something, but either way, this is the first world, and yeah, you know, you, you, you will see, you will be reminded of, uh, you know, Crash Team Racing, and that's, that's totally a good thing, you know? Um, there's just a lot of things to discuss, like, okay, the one thing you notice about this game is you see its accuracy it, 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 to, compared to the original games. That is because the two people that worked on um, Crash 1, and one that stayed on for a, bit, a couple years later, so you've got uh, Charles Zambillis or Zambellis or whatever however you pronounce it, who worked on the first couple Crash games, who designed uh, Crash and Spyro as well, and Joe Pearson, who left after Crash 1 uh, after some controversy. Now, these guys are excellent, excellent in their line of work, um, and that's why, you know, their work, you know, it, it, this game, because since they were hired to work on this game, uh, it, this game's been done by Vicarious Visions, by the way, we've got three people to choose from, let's start as Coco, um, basically what that means is that we, we're given a product, this game, that is excellent and is able to really recreate the feel of the original Crash. Yes. Like, look at this level here. It's fucking fantastic, okay? Let's have a look. Like, yeah, it's a, it's a basic, uh, it's a basic level, you know what I mean? Like, it's a simple, you know, simple premise, get to the end, win, whatever, three laps, you know, default track. The point is, though, pay attention to the actual world, and you'll see that I didn't get a boost, that's okay. See that it's, you know, yes, and yes, it's similar to Crash Cove. A lot of the levels in this game are similar to, um, you know, dead levels or whatever. But the thing is, that doesn't, that who gives a shit? You know what I mean? Because this game is the perfect example of what Crash Team Racing would have been like if Naughty Dog redid it on the PS2. 
there, there is, I mean, yeah, maybe you can say, oh, well, then why even do it? It's just like a PS2 remake. No, there are differences in this game, and there are, you know, positive differences. There are some different powers that we get. Um, there are, you know, some different, you know, the gameplay, I mean, the gameplay, I would say overall isn't as good as CCR. CCR has a slightly more tight uh, player kind of feel, you know what I mean? Oh, uh, yeah, okay. The interruption, sorry about that. Um, but yeah, as I was saying, that, yeah, there's, there's a feel in this game that really, it, it feels like, you know, it was an original Naughty Dog game. There really, there really is a lot of charm to this one, uh, and it's a lot of fun. So, you see at the top of it, some things, there's like boosting, or whatever, like, uh, six boosts. That basically means if you do a certain amount of boosts in a row, it's good. But here's the thing, that's pretty much meaningless if you want to get the best type of boosts. And the best type of boosts you want to get are the boosts that go all the way to the end. And that's easier said than done, so I can't be bothered to be exactly accurate. But, yeah, I think getting more boosts in a row doesn't really do anything, except, like, it's bragging rights, essentially. It's just like... Oh yeah, look at me, I got, you know, extra boosting. Uh, another thing is the team up, you press the LR2 button, and it will give you, like, you get to team up with your mates, and you get a heap of powers to use uh, as many times as you want until it runs out. It's like a frenzy thing. And if you use them roughly, you probably get about two, depending, depending on how long the tracks are, you probably get about two, I reckon. It charges for maybe a minute or so, and then you get, you get your reward. So, also, one little, little minor graphic glitch, but this is kind of applies to, like, the whole game, really, is, um, there we go, done. It applies to the whole game, so, like, the sun's kind of really existed. Also, sorry about that lag, that's just, uh, the, 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 I'm running out of space on my bloody hard drive. So, here we go, we beat the level, we'll get one of these. And look, the, the, no one's cheering, it's pretty quiet, actually. She doesn't even give a shit. Coco is she's been hardened by all the all the issues in Crash 3. CTR, she just does not give a shit anymore. She's just like, whatever. Typical teen. Alright. That's it. I've got so much more to say, but I guess that's the whole that that's the thing. I'm leaving you with more. Hopefully it entices you to watch. If you hop off of a jump, you'll get a boost when you land. The longer you're in the air, the larger your boost will be. That's a good tip. I mean, even look at Aku Aku. If I would say Quite honestly, it's probably the best Aku Aku ever in the whole series. You think about it, it takes the original charm of the PS1 ones with a PS2 coat. Anyway, yeah, my point was, by watching this, you know, and I've got so much more to say, hopefully it gives you more incentive to watch, because there's so many things to say about this game. Uh, guess comments here, hey, this would be quite difficult to do, just because it's quite hard to get, uh, you know, like, it recording, because it is a bit of a lag trigger trigger lag game I guess also like the background there as well that's the background that I got for my slides for TV background or whatever anyway hopefully you enjoyed that part guys I'm really excited to be doing this LP hopefully there's not too many graphical and lag complications but until then thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next part goodbye Wake up, Webmaster. You're online with Hostinger, and you are in command. Into our H panel for ultimate control. Hello, everyone. Crystal Vision here. Welcome to another part of the Crash Team... Uh, Crash Nitro Guard, Jesus. I was about to say Team Racing. I expect that to be... Uh, what I would call a, a, a very regular occurrence in this bloody Let's Play, because I will say it so many times. Today we're going to Jungle Boogie, Jungle Boogie. Um... In the words of Sam Neill, we love to boogie, that, that ad in Australia without the red meat. Um, okay, so this level is awesome. Really, it is awesome. Like, uh, just, just from an appearance perspective, I mean, it's a basic track. Just like the first level, you know, the first level, basic track. But environmentally, it's just awesome. Um, we go for a nice sort of boost start there. And look, already the pack is it's heavy, it's heavy. Um, it's kind of bad because imagine like having all these computers on the screen and there's a lot of slowdown. But if that's just my guess. Um, hopefully you can still pay attention to like, the lag and the right start because I wasn't paying as much enough attention to the actual track. Uh, I guess there's a few things we didn't mention in the first part, which is due to obvious time constraints. I mean, uh, we had like 12 minutes and that, that first you know, don't, don't try and get up there. It's a complete fucking waste of time. I'm sorry, but it's, I don't care if anyone thinks that's a useful tool type of music. It just isn't. Okay, it just isn't. Um, but yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, a few things we missed. So, uh, right now you won't see him, he's actually not there, but there is a first place guy 
Um, I mean, there's only places in this in this track. Uh, maybe he's not there at the moment. I don't know how it crashes in front, by the way. Um, I guess, I, I don't know, but you probably, I thought he was in the lap. I mean, when he, I tried to record this the first time he did But it's a guy called uh, Entrance. And Entrance is someone introduced in a crash game that not many people would have played, which was uh, the GBA game, GBA exclusive Crash Bandicoot Entrance, where he is the, he is the starring villain, I suppose. And yeah, so I don't, I think he's on Bilo's team. I think he's one of the people who've been like, Transformed or something, I can't remember, but like I'm pretty sure they no longer, he no longer supports Cortex. I can't, I can't remember the story, but yeah, that's interesting. And then you've also got Nitrous Oxide, uh, you know, who resides on the planet Gas Moxia, um, not to be confused with the YouTube user Gas Moxia, but Gas Moxia uh, is a planet and maybe it's near Vila's planet because they're kind of similar, they're both, uh, you know, green, you know. <laughs> You know, they, they, they're green, they're mean, and also working together, you know, they, they you never know, they could be conspiring. No, so you try that again, it does not work. You know, don't try it. Um, so, yeah, I, and look at them, with that I'm already out of time, practically. Now, I know people are probably going, oh, God, he's doing it one level per part. Only with the campaign or the main missions, yes. I'm sorry that's just the case. Now, the reason... The reason is because when I do the other challenges, like the time trial and shit, that will be... I'll do both of them in a part, so it'll be longer. Um, I guess these parts are used to just kind of get the base of the track, and then, yeah, um, that's done. We're back. And, you know, the loading screens take quite some time, so, you know, you've got, you got time. But anyway, um, I guess one thing that, you know, I want to talk about with that level is how nice it looked once again, Joe Pearson and, and uh, you know, Charles and Bellis doing well again. Now, actually, when taking a turn, your heart will slow down. The boy slowing down, slow the power slide by pressing and holding the hot button while turning. The power slide ends if you don't miss anything or go down. Awesome. Thank you for the tip. Um, but yeah, I guess, I've got, I've got to give credit to the other designers and art people and all that stuff. You know, obviously, this isn't just them that made the game. Which is obviously, you can just see that Vicarious Visions, you know, as well as the people that did work on the original Crash, are true Crash Bandicoot fans. I mean, this is a, this is an amazing sort of world. I've talked about that already before, but really, there's no there's no end to my, my love for this game, and I'm sure you guys are loving watching it as well, even, even if my commentary is, you know, just regular. You know, the gameplay is what you guys are here for. You know. Anyway, Tiny Temple, let's go to that in the next part. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. I'll see you. It's not, it's not a small temple. So the name, the name is a, is a classic, uh, classic Crash Bandicoot name where it's kind of a pun, like Entropy, Engin, or Engin, N Cortex, Near Cortex, whatever. Tiny temple, it's a nice temple. It's Tiny's home ground. But interestingly enough, there is a level in Crash Team Racing called Tiny Temple, and you will be able to see the similarities. Let's have a look. But actually, it's, it, they're not as similar as you think. Do you know what I mean? Like that bit there kind of reminds me more of... That bit there reminds me more of, um, what's that level that, that, what's it called, like, mystery tube, mystery caverns or whatever, you know, the one in the, fir in the first world, but, um, you know, once again, like, I really have to commend the liking, that sounds, it's kind of random that I, I feel like people don't even think that as much with video games anymore, because obviously, you know, we've got, you know, we've got the PS3 graphics and everything that looks 
spectacular. And, you know, I've had to make a few sacrifices for this game. Like, I could make it look a little bit better than what it currently is. But, you know, I think, per personally, I think it still looks great. But, yeah, you could, like, you can make this game look almost PS3. But the point I'm trying to make is that my criticism is it's forgotten when you discuss video games. And the lighting of this game is really, really good. So I have to give credit where credit is due. Um, and the graphically as well. Love it. So... This is like a cool new concept that they introduced in this game, uh, and what it is, is, yeah, it's like some kind of, like, you can basically go on other surfaces, you can kind of like float almost, like, or like sort of travel really awesomely, uh, yeah, it's kind of, it's pretty, pretty cool actually, we'll go back there after. Now, also we can use the team up thing here, which obviously, ah, oh, shit, shit, okay, it also gives us the, you know, the use of shit, which, but we shouldn't have wasted that one, that's really mistake. Surface again, that was a kind of like a loop de loop type thing. But yeah, so basically, yeah, we do have like a, you know, I think, I think we've got one teammate on your team. Um, shit, I don't, I don't think we have all three, but I'm pretty sure it's just one teammate. Yeah, it is. Um, and with that, I guess you've, um, I guess with that, you've got kind of a, a mechanism where you have like a one in four chance of winning. Then. Look, there's a nitrous oxide. Look, he's got a regular car. Maybe that was one of his punishments, but oh shit. Jump, 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 jump. He actually tells us to jump this time. But yeah, maybe that was one of his punishments for his actions and, uh, you know, what's that word again? In his professional team racing. Jesus. I'm getting it so confused with the MC. Crap. Pay attention. Oh, look. Look, that hog up there. I, that has to be a reference to old hog and, and you know, totally... What was it called again? I can't remember. Like, yeah, that has to be a reference to, like, the hogs thing from maybe to a lesser extent, you know, Pura and Polo, you know, like the, the riding the challenges, uh, bring back good memories, I think. They should have done that in, um, in Sanity, I would have loved to see that. But as we wrap up this race, I'm pretty sure, yes, Coco's in second place, so, oh, that's another good shot of it, by the way. We're in first place, and we're done. Well done, we're doing well. So, yeah, another great level, another, another great uh, good memories. We've got a cup team, though, coming up. This first, and the crash model with Coco still on the computer. Nothing's changed. And why the hell does nitrous oxide have a fucking cane? You've collected three trophies from Rob's start. Now you must face Terra's champion, Kronk. Just like yours, it's called Earth. Earth! I have heard of this planet. It is a copy of my Terra. I will race them and show them who has better planet. <laughs> sound really geeky once again. Everyone's collectively rolling their eyes. But that little bit of information there actually revealed kind of what I was thinking of before. Um, I was saying how, you know, like, Tiny Temple looks similar. I was saying how this feels like a, you know... You win a trophy! While in a power slide, the boost gauge will appear. When the gauge goes from green to red, the exhaust on your cart will turn black. Press the boost button to get a boost before the gauge expires. Thank you, awesomely designed Aquaku. But yes, as I was saying, um, no, wait, no, let's just continue with that saving. As I was saying, yeah, now, 
interestingly enough, then I said this looks like Crash Bandicoot's universe. You know, we got like you know the oh yeah, and that would actually make perfect sense because we've got we've got the first level which is like a replica of Crash Cove. We've got the second level which is kind of like using aspects I suppose from the Great Gate and stuff. And then that level there was a like tiny temple. And so that guy also looks like another version of Papu Papu. So I guess we can continue to discuss this stuff more, but um, definitely very interesting. Uh, I really, I, I don't know, like, this, this this level of enthusiasm I have, I'm just so damn excited to be doing this game. There's just so much to talk about. It's going well. In the next part, we're going to defeat this guy. We're going to go to the Terra Championship. Thank you very much for watching, everyone, as usual. And uh, the for now, but not forever. Championship. Today we're going to play as Crash Bandicoot, and we're going, we're, we'll, they call it the Terra Championship, which would implicate the fact that there'd maybe be three levels, you know, like a championship, you know, best of kind of thing, I don't know, at least that's the way I kind of, the gist that I kind of got when I was a kid, but it's only actually one level, you know, very similar to the Crash Team Racing battles, and I guess the guy chooses his, um, his location, so Crunk's homeworld, I suppose, would be Jungle Booty. And that's an interesting point to make. Um, well, let's just get the boost quick. Yes, no, it's just a swipe boost. Uh, yeah, I guess that's an interesting point because as I was talking about in the last part that didn't get to finish off, um, you know, it seems like his comments about how Earth is actually a, uh, a copy of his home planet would suggest that everything I've said before about like how the world is the same it, you know, is on purpose. So I guess if you went to the Earth version of this, this would be like Puffy Puffy's clothes, you know what I mean? Like he kind of lives, as you see in Crash uh, 1, yeah, you know where he lives, like that little hut. It seems like there's a little hut up there, but uh, they're much smaller, but I guess it's kind of similar. Obviously, they're not meant to be exact replicas, because as you saw, a tiny temple was a lot was different, but it kind of used aspects from uh, mystery, whatever it was called, mystery cabins. I can't remember, I've completely forgotten that level name. Uh, I couldn't even remember it within the 10 minutes of recording one part, the other, so, yeah, you know, my bad, but, um, this is, you know, a good level, and this boss is, I wouldn't call it easy, uh, yes, got up there, that's lucky, that's actually really lucky, um, try, it, I, I don't know, it's just like sometimes you get really lucky with that kind of jump, other times you have absolutely no luck at all, but if you look at, like, the top there, see those little nice little, whatever they are, like, vital things, that reminds me so much of um, Crash, uh, of, of Papu Papu, so there we go. Oh, we got first appearance of the Nitro in the LP. Congrats, congrats Nitro for making your second appearance. I wonder if, like, he ever hits those things, like, when you're far away, you know, like, when you're, you know, close to it, you know, there's a much higher chance that you, you hit him, but, um, do you reckon it's possible that, like, he's been, like, so far back and he actually just hit it by accident, or, you know, it just seems like that would never happen, but... Wrap this up, look at that. One, two, and three. We did it. Alright, now we're going to get a pretty interesting cut. So just focus on him there, really. That is a really interesting character design. We have to see him in a couple of minutes. Have a watch. Here we go. champion of terror also opens all world gates on my planet visit when you want what is this gift from your world thank you i am sorry we actually got your planet Close to winning the circuit yet. On to the second. 
second world. Burn. Burn. I love it. Actually, look at that little bit in the cutscene there. He says, we actually copied your world. So, you, you know, he turned out being a pretty nice guy. You know, I, I have no idea theories. Terra is a copy of Australia, apparently, or, or like, the, the areas surrounding it. So, well, yes. Now, we have like a little portal here, and we look at this guy. Congratulations. You have activated this world gate. Enter the gate to travel to a new world where you will find additional tracks to compete in. Good luck. Thank you, Aku Aku. Haven't seen you much. Okay, new cutscene, continue without saving once again. That's probably going to bite me in the ass when the save state fucks up. But now you see that uh, we have unlocked a lot more things. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to Temple Turmoil. Collect every crystal in the arena before time runs out. And you will win a prize. Thank you. So we're going to get a CMK token there. Uh, that should be fun in the next part, Temple Turmoil. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I really appreciate it. Checkers and Ralph. Brisket on a burger. The new barbecue brisket melt for three forty nine. Brisket on a burger. Hello everyone, Crystal V here. Today we are going to Temple Turmoil. It's a level about temple and turmoil and all that stuff, you know, lots, lots of temple turmoil turmoil problems, you know, temple turmoil destruction. You know, okay, I've got no idea what I'm talking about. What we haven't discussed is the really, really awesome art here. Now, if you know if Charles and Bellis and Joe Pearson and all that didn't do, you know, the actual all the game, I can imagine them definitely doing uh, that that, uh, that that art there because it's really nice. It's really crack esque, totally. So this challenge is another one of those, um, you know, what's it called? You know, collect all the things in, in a certain amount of time challenge and. They're not, you know, just like in Crash Team Racing, they're not easy. They're challenges that are, I would say are some of the most, you know, frustrating at times, but other times they can be pretty easy, it just depends on your luck. So, this is another awesome looking level, by the way, I really love the level of the look of this. And actually, the Crash, the Crystals have a real um, Crash Bandicoot, a re like an original Crash feel. Like, Actually, if you look at the, in the opening cutscene, you see there's actually this uh, bit where you can see like a crystal on the floor and it looks so cool. These ones kind of look a lot more cartoony because actually the opening cutscenes and the cutscenes in general are really nice. Visually, they are very pleasing. Quality stuff, you know, uh, really impressed. Now, oh, this one around here, cool. I did not see that. Got 23 seconds. I don't reckon that's enough, actually. I reckon we're actually screwed. That was actually really damn close. I'm not happy with that. Alright. There we go. We'll do this now. I reckon we can get this easy. I think we know what to do now. We shouldn't have done that. We should not have done that. That was already our first mistake. But yeah, um, you know, I don't know if this is really random. Maybe just because it's around the time that the game was released. But some aspects of this game really, like, heavily reminds me of Jack and Daxter. So I guess that's what they were. I, and I think I just I kind of answered my own question there in my head. I just realised why it's like Jack and Daxter. And that's because Jack and Daxter is, in many ways, a PS2 version of Crash Bandicoot. And 
so while uh, I'm not putting down Naughty Dog's excellent uh, texturing and all that, I'm not uh, criticising Vicarious Vision's textures because they've done an amazing job as well. But I guess it's interesting, like, this game does feel a lot like Crash Bandicoot uh, and uh, Jack and Dexter the Precursor Legacy. Um, so that's, that's really... Uh, Naughty Dog shouldn't even take that as an insult, you know, like, oh, you know, Vicarious Vision is some unknown company that does, like, ports and shit, you know, being as good as us. But, I mean, obviously... Uh, Jack Dexter has, you know, a bit better, but not by too much, you know, like, they really, um, Jack and Dexter really is a, is a great looking game, um, but so is this, you know, once again, oh, easy, look at that, nice, new win, press X to continue, we get a little, a token which has Velo on it, or Velo, I, I don't know how to pronounce it, I'm just calling him Velo, because it's cool, like, D.O. Brown, you know, the wrestler, D.O. Brown, the guy that accidentally, like, screwed up Rose's career, and, made him like a one hit paraplegic or whatever that was, but wonderful. You won a token. But okay, oh, no reward. Okay, so finally we're gonna get a longer part now because we're gonna head off to no we're not going to Tiny Temple. Incorrect. We are going to go to is it this one? Is, no, that's Jungle Boogie. What the hell is the problem here? I'm not being an idiot. It's this somewhere over here. We've got Infernal Island? Oh, okay. I completely forgot it was called Inferno Island. Anyway, the next part, Inferno Island, is the level we're going to go to. We're going to get the relic and we're going to get that. Thank you, Are you wasting money on forgotten subscriptions? I have lots of monthly subscriptions. Streaming, music, news sites. Now I can see them in one place. And the ones I forgot about? Experian can cancel them for me. So, I went to Experian. They actually helped lower my monthly bills. Phone, internet, Experian did the work. Help me take control of my money. You can save $670 a year when you cancel forgotten subscriptions and lower your monthly bills. Get started now at Experian.com slash save. Wix gives you the power of AI to build the website you need. And a design tailored just for you. Customize every element of your website and watch your vision come to life in minutes. Access unlimited on brand image creation and enhance your site's visual appeal. Effortlessly grow your site as your story evolves. Welcome to Inferno Island. Um, C -N -K let's, let's, go, let's go crash, because, yeah. And um, all I have to say is, fuck the CNK challenge. It is an absolutely painful, painful challenge that is filled with pain. Yep, it is a, it's pain on top of pain. The reason why is because of just three letters, C and K. Do you think the Crash Team Racing Challenge is difficult? And I don't really think they are that really that much. These ones are a completely different beast. Um, yeah, let's see if I can get it. Let's see if we can get it first go. Yes, yes, yes. There we go. That was kind. That was lucky. That was really lucky. Um, and look at that. Look, it's still seventh. So um, that's hardly a shortcut. That's pretty much just so you can get a CNK, I believe. Shit. Shit, shit, shit. That's the second one, that's N. And then you need to see K, it's ridiculous because the problem is, I'm pretty sure, I don't know if it's a screw up or is intentional, but in this game, the sizes of each icon is too small. Way smaller than Crash Team Racing, I'm pretty sure. I'm, I'm, they have to be, there's no way they're the same. Okay, this is a little thing here, we go. Oh, yeah, oh shit. That's the first lap. Trust me, it's so fucking annoying. Like, it, it just, it's like, it doesn't gravitate to it as well in, the, in, in Crash Team Racing, it seems to gravitate a lot easier. This one, they make it really difficult. Um, you know, you're also kind of like, so, like, 
in London is the level of scenery that you kind of don't focus properly. It always looks what happens to me. It's like, fuck, it's harsh at this point. I used to build it. Ooh, probably gets this one now, yes. And you can't actually hurt out our friend, our guy that's in first place, so let's take this. Well, oh, you fucking fuck. That did not get the jump of the right there. Right? Such a. Oh, damn it. Seriously, now. Wow. And I'm too busy looking at the bloody sand and the everything. Oh, jeez. Oh, that was that was shite. Trust me, this is like just, this is just as hard as it is for you guys to watch me like say really random words and not properly, you know, talk. It is hard to actually not properly talk sometimes. I give myself that now. All right. This please fuck me up. Yes, there's the cat. There we go. And we did it. Oh, thank Jeebus. That was lucky. Very, very lucky, I must say. There we go. There's CNK. And really, oh God, I'm actually dreading the fact that we have to get these now. Um, now, what do you do when you get one of these? Is oh, yeah, this is the regular race. Is that me or like... Maybe, maybe it is, yeah, I, I can't remember. It kind of reminds me of one of those slug guys of Rash and Clank. You know, those guys are like, you make them, you hit them and they get like, they go into half size and shit. Wonderful! You won a token! Tonkin. Right, thank you. Let's reverse into Inferno Island again. Oh. Jesus, what the hell's going on? There we go. And now we're going to do the... Relic race. You must finish a relic. This is going to be hard. Here we are, Inferno Island Relic Challenge. Oh, I'm nervous. I'm nervous as hell. All right, okay, ready? So we've got 36 things to collect. Um, 36 things of hell. There we go. Let's get that. We, we're doing all right so far. Yes, I was lucky. Very lucky. The trick is, um, well, personally, I don't have a trick because, to be honest, I just can't do um, I know that sounds bad, but I really, I can't get, um, all 36, and I think all 36 give what? you, pretty much it guarantees you probably a spot, um, to get the, um, you know, the platinum, but if I can get the platinum, that would be really, I'm definitely hoping for a platinum, but I doubt it would happen to be fair to be honest. Let's get second there. Oh, shit. That was a complete waste of teeth. Sometimes, sometimes it's not worth the risk of kind of doing like all the fancy jumping and shit. Sometimes you might as well just kind of get get the ones or just keep going forward instead of trying to go too far out of your way to get the, the particular ones. Like this one, that's worth it. The three there, that's probably worth it as well. But getting those two, I would say no, that's not worth it. But that's just my opinion. Uh, this is definitely not easy right now. Three up there, if we can get that, if we can try. Let's get that. Oh shit, that was a mistake. See, sometimes it's just not worth the risk. Okay, now these ones up here, definitely my worst enemies, I would say. No, that was a waste of time as well. Shit. I actually want, I wish they would tell us what the time is. Instead of just going on and saying, like, oh yeah, you know, here's the time um, for the sapphire. I, I, I know you, like, unlock it after, but. I kind of just want to know now, huh? I'm getting impatient, I believe. Okay, there we go. I've got a feeling it's probably one of seven, so I've pretty much already screwed up there. So, good job with me. Right. Almost there, let's get the three. Nah, that's the one. I was trying to get the three, but the camera kind of mucked up just a little bit. Okay, there we go. Two. Wow, bang. We have to must have kept it an amazing time. Holy shit. Relic awarded. Gold is 115. Oh, you know what? Fuck it. Nah, nah, we're not getting it. Alright, let's just twin. Delete. Uh, yeah, maybe I'll come back later and show off getting them all, but you know what? Nah. C. Wait, C, F. There you go. It's, it's okay. There you go. Nah, I'm sorry. I just don't think it's worth the stress. Like, I, I don't know, if I can't, I don't think, okay, I think it's 55, so maybe that's it. I don't want to particularly blame 
the controller or the emulator, but I mean, why am I playing it in full screen? You know, I can make those kind of excuses for hours, but really, I might as well just conclude that I'm A, not good enough, and B, the material, uh, the, the circumstances I'm in make it very difficult for me to get a platinum. But if I do get platinum, I will try, maybe I'll practice more in the future levels. You won a relic. Yeah, um, so in the future levels, we'll see how it goes. But in the next part, finally, we can wrap this one up. We will be going to Jungle Boogie again. So this, I'm sure this is going to be a challenge as well. Thank you for watching, guys. Observer of Uber rides, months in advance. Last time you missed a flight? Never. You're the reason your family made it here, just in time to be five hours early. To all the airport dads, now you can reserve your Uber ride up to 90 days in advance. Here. Welcome to Jungle Boogie. Today we're going to be doing the CMK challenge and the Relic challenge in Jungle Boogie. This is part I've forgotten because I haven't actually been saying this is part two, three, four. I've just been saying welcome back and you know here we are because you know part names are irrelevant really. You can watch this in well, I mean I hope you watch it in, in you know order. But, you know, really, if you're just trying to find, if you're just a viewer from 2016 saying, hey, I just want to, you know, check out how to do this and not part of the whole LP, firstly, welcome. How are you going? What's it like knowing that Bitcoin is your number one currency at the moment? Um, yes, enough randomness. Okay, let's do this, ready? So we've got three ones to collect CNK, uh, which is something that I fucking hate at this point. I, I hate CNK, just the tokens already. I've only done one CNK challenge, and if it's an indicator of how more annoying the rest of them are, seriously, they're not like not even my favorite aspects of this game. Mainly because I have to talk, play on a small screen because of the emulation and stuff, and kind of concentrate, win, and come first, you know, and get a win as well. So it's kind of just, just a little bit annoying um, to get them off. So to get this one, you need to slow down there. Don't try and do some slide slide spin to that website name. Don't try and slide spin it, just kind of try and... No, don't do that either. Fucking hell. Oh, fuck off. That's so douche. No, I think seven star. This next one, next one here is really annoying as well. Next there we go, there's the C, get the C. Now, that, I, what, what are those, those do? I just, I have no idea. I've just completely forgotten what they do. I've never actually looked up the definition of I could read the strategy guide, or not the strategy guide, but the, uh, you know, the nice guys that you get given in the, in the game. And back in the day, they were the color, but I think I've got the platinum version of this game, so, you know, I don't, uh, I don't have the color manual, but what, a, what an injustice to this world, but all right, let me go and get the team up. over time I'll get better, I'll get more used to the controls. Like, because I've said this before, but there are some just minor differences. Like the, the kind of the jumping and, and fluidity of the controls aren't as tight as Naughty Dog's uh, racer. But, you know, that, that's okay, because for the most part, they did a phenomenal job. Uh, you know, and, and I've got to give them credit. Like, you know, I just love this game. I love the look of it. I, I love it all. It's just a, it's a love fest. You know, Crystal Fish is part of these games. They're always going to be a love fest. Let's finish that. We're done. Nice. All right. Onwards and upwards to the next challenge. All right. Relic race. Here we go. This, whew, this is not going to be easy once again. I, I, I just, I continue to dread forever Relic races now after the first experience. Seriously. First level, maybe the easiest level, it makes me dread um, doing these sorts of challenges now. It's amazing. All right. But without further ado, Let's begin. I think we've already begun, but whatever. The okay, point is, let's get ready. Okay, thank you, game's shitty physics at times. I don't want to say uh, all the time, but sometimes the way this car moves is annoying. And I blame it for my, for my misfortunes. I can have one. If I can get up here. No, I can't do that. You, you see, it's a mini head boost, but if you try and do a boost 
bomb getting over there. I can almost guarantee you, you won't be able to make it because somehow it's like it's like the, the ropes there trap you from being able to do anything about it. So yeah, this, this is game's fault. Right, ready? Let's try and get across. Oh fucking hell! Why game? Why? I hate that bit there. It's so like it. I'd probably say it's one of the weaker aspects of this game. Sometimes the jumping and controls just don't match up and it kind of feels off when you don't make it. Like, I, I expect that jump is kind of shit, but there's been times where I'm like, that's God has made it. <laughs> but it, it never did. Three, it's got it. There we go. Yes, got the three. And got the one. So it's with shit, it, shit effort. Um, part one. Right, one, two, three. I should have got more, I really should have got more. That's terrible. Okay, ready? Three. Okay, ready? Let's try and get this ready. Yes, oh yes, made it across. Oh no, missed it. Fucking no. Oh, that sucks. I totally had that one there. Damn it. Okay, well, sometimes it's like you go the other way that you want to go, so be careful. Right. Um, I guess one possible flaw of me doing this live like this is that like it's hard to like talk a lot while doing it so in a way it's kind of like a bit boring I suppose I hope I'm not boring everyone hopefully you guys all are enjoying this but it definitely can be frustrating at times to play this like like this and, and have to like think of stuff to say but there we go we got gold 20 out of 39 <clears throat> that's a decent that's not bad but yeah wow record is CMK. Let's see what I'm, 55, I'm guessing 55 was the gold time again, but oh my god, no way can I do that. Right, we'll continue with that saving. And let's head back, head back to home base. Alright, love that picture there. I mean, but where are they? What track are they racing in? Is that like the home world? Because, yeah. Super job. You won a Thank you. Okay, next level. Next level shit. Alright, let's do. There we are, Tiny Temple. This is going to be fun. Thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next. Hello, everyone. Crystal Vision here. Welcome to another part of Crash Nitro Car. Today, we're doing the CNK challenge in a great level, Tiny Temple. Now, I've only been to play as Tiny. Uh, I did choose Team Bandico. I didn't choose Team Cortex, unfortunately. Um, which, I, what do they consist of? I think. Yeah, alright, whatever. Anyway. Let's do this. This should be fun. This should be actually fun. Judging by the last two escapades that we went on in the other levels, I would say this is going to be difficult, just like the others. This, this is a stressful, stressful endeavor. Um, I, I guess in another word, way, I can call this level Tiny Tiny Temple Two. You know what I mean? Because it really is the, the replica of Tiny Temple from Crash. I wonder, what, I wonder what the Terra version of Tiny would be like, because we know that that guy's Papu Papu, uh, Terra or whatever, and yeah. Oh shit. Terrible. Coming eight, damn it. Actually, I don't even get anything to be more hard than the first two, because seriously, there's parts of that which make me want to fucking go mental. That's how hard they are. Right. So let's see. Is the end and K. I'm pretty sure N is up on one of the or K. I can't think K is like wait where is it? I can't remember. I've kind of forgotten this level for a second. I'm pretty sure we're missing. Oh, don't hit me, please. Yes, thank you. I'm pretty sure N. Oh, there it is. There's N. Let's get that. I guess if you get all of the letters in the first lap, it kind of makes it more easy to, to chase them in the end. Um, I'm pretty sure K is over there, which we great, gratefully missed, or not gratefully, but we missed it. Shit. Right. And um, as a few side there, on the on the corner there, the, the, the people who were racing, or like the animations, I think they're up to standard with the original C T R uh, icons. Don't you, would you agree? I, I think. I think it would be uh, fair to say that they are just as good, but yes, I love getting that. Uh, seriously, like, the one thing they just improved on so much, like, bloody hell, Aku Aku just looks amazing. Like, he just looks so damn good in this game. It is a really, really great effort by the boys, all the women, you know, I'm sure women worked on video games as well, I'm sure there was some fantastic, 
fantastic staff, you know, I don't have to do men, we don't just have to do men, I will say that, right? Don't assume that the, the video game business is a solely male-dominated industry, I mean, well, I guess, yeah, it's dominated by men, but I mean, I'm sure that there are many women that are great in the industry as well. Um, there's my two cents on the fucking industry, yeah. Uh, implying that I know everything about it, which I, I, I don't. And there's the whole old guy or whatever his name is. That's, that's not what it reminds me, that's what it is. Straight up. Right. Okay, let's get that. And I think we chill. That was lucky. I think we're just going to get this victory. They're actually dangerously close. Take a look at the map. They're really close. But some corners like these, they cannot beat me. Like that. There we go. Look at that. Awesome. And should drop it in the middle. But in CTR, when you collect the CTR coins or tokens or whatever, or CTR, C, yeah, CTR, like, you know, icons or whatever, or um, letters, they pop up like as 3D objects or are they like the CNK ones where it just highlight, like, just shows the text. I can't remember. Um, like, I mean, like, there it is, they show up there. But do they show up in game, like, like, in the actual level when you're racing? Like, I can't remember. But, um, Anyway, let's head off and do the relic now. Okay, the relic race. This another difficult uh, challenge. Here we go. Tiny Temple 2. All right, let's do this. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Look at this. Awesome. Okay, let's hit that one. Three. I've got a feeling this will be easier than the first two. It's a lot more, I don't know, just to me it feels like it's a lot more accessible. Uh, a lot kind of easier there. Oh, well, as I say that, I fucking miss, you know, a few there. Great. And I missed that one as well, so that's a big, big waste of time. So you see, this is frustrating. It's so frustrating, these bloody challenges, I tell you. How do people get platinums? They're going to be like absolute freaks to get platinums. And I know someone I'm referencing here, like Eurus Vegeta, who could probably do it really easily, but well done to him. But yeah, there's just some practice that I just could not be bothered. Uh, or a skill level that I cannot be po bothered trying to get to, to be honest. Like, I kind of enjoy the leisure, the kind of the laid back nature of uh, this sort of game. You know, I mean, it's, yeah, it's high octane, you know, it's, uh, but it's no Hydro Thunder. You know, in terms of like Hydro Thunder, you go super fast, but um, at the same time, it's a different kind of racing game. You know, Hydro Thunder is meant to be super, super speed. This game is meant to be this. I mean, you know, I was looking at this video online. Um, it was called like Crash Bandicoot in in uh, CN. I mean, Crash Bandicoot in what was it? What game was it again? Crash Bandicoot in Mario Kart 64, and it was scary how slow Mario Kart 64 is compared to CNK. I mean, or LCTR, sorry for that matter. It doesn't matter, CNK or CTR. It's just, it's such a slow game. Like, on 150cc, it's still kind of fast, but no, I would actually say no, it isn't that fast. Even on, even on that setting, it's still really slow. And it kind of, like, disappoints me that everyone kind of all, you know, every time, everyone always goes to Mario. It's like, oh, look at Mario. He's the, you know, the, if you want to play a good, you know, kart racing game, play Mario. He's so awesome, you know? But you know what? It's taken them, like, ten or, like, eight games to get to the level they got to with Mario Kart Wii, which is a, a great racing game. But, you know, like, Crash Team Racing got it right instantly. You know, the first game of Crash Team Racing, that was it. You know I mean? They got, they got racing down pat. This game, um, you know, would you say it improved it? Maybe not. You know, it kept it relatively the same. Um, but still, they managed to make a really, really solid game in CT, CTR, and they continue the trend with this game with Vicarious Visions. So I feel like, you know, if you want to recommend people, hey, what's a great kart racing game, please don't say Mario, because if you say Mario, it implies that you have no knowledge of the kart racing genre at all. Because there's some great kart racing games out there, or just, you know, children's racing games, I suppose, that are really good that aren't Mario. But I guess that's just, I guess that's what you're going to deal with in the mainstream, you know? Um, wow, we just barely... Seriously, you barely scraped by to get the um, Sapphires. Wow. Yeah, please. Yes, there's a three there. Good. I just wanted to make sure I had a feeling there was, but... Oh, shit. 203. Wow. Relic awarded. Jeez, that is close. It's amazing how close they get with these. I mean, I'm, I'm not, I mean, I guess you could say it's blind because I've, I've actually got a feeling I didn't do these as a kid. I'm pretty sure it's like, ah, well, nah. nah. In fact, I think I rented again and I bought it a couple of years later and I just never did it. Like, 
actually, I never actually beat this game at all, I'm pretty sure. I think I got up to like the fourth world, couldn't beat Velo or Velo, however, however you pronounce it, but here we are. Thank you, friend. Now, I'm pretty sure that leaves us with this world. Sparky, your robotic assistant. Sparky can save your progress, switch your driver, and display information that will help you along in the galaxy circuit. That's pretty cool. Alright, okay, now let's go here. Wait, that fellow's seated at oh, shit, we're in it anyway. This is a nice um, looking image, and it implies that there's a race in this area, like in the, um, it implies that there's a race in this area, but I think all the images are like racing, even even in like the home worlds, but it'd be cool if you could race around that, like a, a circle face track. So, this is the hub. I guess this is a, kind of like Gemstone Valley, you know, Gemstone Valley, and uh, it's kind of like it leads, it leads you to each world. Um, right, let's go over here. Let's call for that one. I think this is what we unlock now. We unlock this one. Okay. Okay, let's go to Baron. Baron Praxis, maybe, from Jack 2 fame. Oh, here we go. That, this image used to be on, like, a Tarzo that you could buy, which is, like, these kind of, like, little collectible things you could get in packets of chips, actually. I remember I was, like, so excited to collect all of them when I was a kid. Like, they actually full-on promoted this game in Australia. Like, it was pretty awesome. So here we are in the next world. Listen to that. Nice. Here we are. First level we're going to go to is the level that I showed off in the demo testing out this game a couple weeks back. Let's go into the next level. Thank you very much for watching this part. Um, I've been, it's, been, it's been a great time. Uh, and next part, Meteor Gorge. Thank you for watching. Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to Meteor Gorge. And today we are going to place Coco again. Media Gorge is the first level in the Baron homeworld, uh, or like, you know, realm, whatever you want to call it. Okay, this isn't Spyro, but yes. This level is pretty damn great. It was the level I tested out uh, to see if you guys wanted to see an LP of this and test out the quality. And, um, you know, relatively lag-free. I've been glad at, I've been glad at the level of lag-free uh, gameplay I've been able to get. I've been like, like pretty much a whole LP now, pretty much since part one. Um, and it still looks visually pleasing, which is always good to see. So, here we are. Pretty... Now, do you see those little crystals up there? So, this level showcases just how amazingly accurate Vicarious Visions and the team got to make this look like a Crash Bandicoot game. I mean, yes, okay, little add objects in this, this is very similar to Polar Pass, for sure. But it also kind of utilizes, I reckon, uh, sort of like areas from other Crash games and kind of its own original style here. You see it's kind of like an old, it's, um, you know, it's kind of like an old sort of like plant go, you know, going along, which is really nice. Um, I just appreciate their efforts so much. I really think that, honestly, they, they got this so right. They got this level so right. It perfectly represents the Crash Bandicoot universe. Like the ice cap that you see there in Crash 1, in fact, I mean, in Crash uh, 2 and, you know, Crash Team Racing, you would see that. It's as simple as that. And it's something that I totally appreciate, um, as I keep saying it. This, uh, this game is such an appreciation game, like all the less play for me. It's just constant, constant uh, happiness. I'm sure by the end of it, when the game gets, like, excruciatingly difficult, that I'll be starting to say, that, you know, well, fuck this game, it's fucking piss it off. That's probably what I'm going to be like at the end of it. And I do that with a lot of games, I just spit the dummies so hard, but I, even if I do, I'll be spitting the dummy and saying, like, fair play to you for making me get, get to breaking point, if you know what I mean. Um, the second world is, yes, yeah, like the ice world, um, where we've moved on from uh, Terra, which is the copycat world from, uh, you know, Australia, apparently, uh, as they imply. Um, but... And this world kind of has, you know, it starts to get into its own. It starts to feel a bit more like, a, kind of like its own game and less like a copy. But, you know, it still retains, it still feels similar. Like, this is similar to Polar Pass, you know what I mean? This takes aspects from Polar Pass, like the water here. And it's also kind of got the more inviting, sort of like bulky snow that um, Blizzard Bluff had as well. Do you know what I mean? Like, it's kind of, it kind of utilises both texts from, um, it kind of uses both texts uh, rather than just one. Oh, wow, that's, that was awesome. Wow. It, yeah, it kind of uses, like, both types of ice. Like, 
And we, we win, we're back in the main area. Coco's a, a good base, actually, I quite like her. Damn, he's like, Yeah. Um, actually, unlockables, I'm just curious as to how many unlockable characters there are. Like, if you could play as pure and all that, like, I'm pretty sure they, they put us to a minimum only because of that bastard, uh, um, Milo and everything. You have to play as those guys, which is. Yeah. Performing a slide boost, the boost gauge will begin to fill up again. When it turns red, hit the boost button to get another more powerful boost. Three slide boosts in a row. Make a slide boost combo, which will give you maximum speed. Thank you, friend. Echo, echo, I, I did know that. I have been doing that since day one, but yes. Th and I guess this one's comes to the third one in CTR as well, but... Yeah, I, I know. I'm going to be making comparisons the whole way. And actually, let's see that up there. That is the home world champion. Spoiler alert. Actually, we're too late now. Anyway, in the next part, Baron Ruins. Ooh, ooh is this maybe a, a uh, Rampage Ruins-esque level? Who knows? So that's, thank you very much for watching, guys. See you in the next part. Welcome to Baron Ruins. We're about to go there. This is the second level. Let's play as Crunch again. I think we go we go Coco, Crunch, and Crash. Unless there's like kind of like a level that would suit more. Do you know what I mean? Like I think there are levels that may suit more uh, to each character. Uh, I, I, I actually this is probably the wrong character to choose. This is probably more of a Crash level because it is a bit more um, uh, technical. Would you say it's kind of got elements of Papu's Pyramid, Papu's Pyramid, or whatever. Um, robotic and actually really cool like landscapes like I just love looking at them it, it takes away actually just to point something out maybe I might do this kind of like a retrospective esque thing um, where I can actually get rid of like all the you know the let's see all the commands on here you like what Apple time and all that shit I think you can enter like levels like free race or whatever where it has no other characters and, and no lap count or anything I, I actually can use from the dolphin emulator a thing called um it's called Free Look, and what it actually does, is not graphical glitch, what it actually does is it allows you to move the camera wherever you want. So you can actually move the camera like throughout the entire level. Um, the only problem is I tried to record the game with Dolphin and it lagged out. Like weirdly enough, Dolphin, like a fucking GameCube, you know, it lagged out more than the PS2, which is, you know, mental. That's just that's just weird to me. I'm sorry, I just find that really odd. But so maybe that won't happen, but if there's any way I can do that on the PS2, that'd be amazing as well. Actually, the game where it's like a widescreen patch, you can play this game like full on widescreen. But you know what? I'm happy with this, to be honest. This is good. Uh, you know, it is stretch, but it is a shit. Alright, okay. 12, 13, 14. Nice. We get a few boosts there. 15, 16, 17. Nice. This is boost up. Whoa. Gotta get that though. 22. I'm actually focusing on boost now. Look at this. We've got some hyper speed. 26. I really wonder what happens when you get more boosts, but. I don't think anything actually happens, but I think sometimes like you can almost get taken, you can almost, oh no, ruined it, that was great, we had a great streak going there, but sometimes like you almost stop looking at the screen, you just look at the boost and somehow like you just naturally know where to go, it's some kind of weird power, you know what I mean, like you're not, like, I'm not really even looking where I'm going, I'm kind of just looking at the, um, at the, at the boost screen, and you know what, that's probably not a good idea, because look at that now, I'm coming, as I say it, kind of like you lose the zen focus that you have like you're kind of thinking you're like oh yeah it's got some super power and now you're just like oh well, no actually look at that when i start thinking about it it fucks up big time but actually 
Yeah, I think this is more of a crunch than we're actually. I think it's the next level. I think it's called deep sea driving or something like that. It's definitely not a crunch level. It's some really crazy turns and weird stuff like that. This is kind of yeah, it's a bit of a wider track. It kind of you know pulls like a, a more of a you know puffer's pyramid without the as much technical kind of uh, you know. It, it, it's just more technical, I guess. I was going to try to find a big word to use, but yeah, we've got this again. Just see if you could go out there, but you can't. Alright, we're done just about now. Oh, those guys are really annoying actually. There we go, done. Go on your crunch, you have learnt your lesson. Alright, well, he didn't really do anything wrong and crash, you know, wrap the cortex. He wasn't being controlled, so, you know, technically, you know, whatever. Alright, there we go. And I probably shouldn't have skipped that, but, uh, well, alright, so. I've been recording this. This has like been up, you know, over the coming weeks. I've actually recorded like since like part one. So I've been, I've had a huge session um, of recording over a couple of hours actually. But you know what? This has been a lot of fun. So I'll probably, I'll probably end. After a boost combo, the boost counter will appear. It will count any additional boost until your cart returns to normal speed. With enough practice, you can maintain boost speed for an entire race. Well, it's easier said than done, mate. And it doesn't say that you get, like, any extra boost or anything, but as I was saying, okay, I'm out of breath. I'm actually out of breath. Here we go. Look at that. Well, let's just have an explore over here. Oh, oh, so cool. Seriously. Okay. Sorry, I know. You do not. Oh, yeah, I don't even know. Fuck you. Okay. There's five, six, should be... Where is it? No idea. Oh, there it is. There it is. Sorry, this the level isn't a he or a she. It's an it. Oh shit! Deep sea fucking driving. Oh crap! All right, thank you for watching, guys. See you in the next. Vision here. Welcome to another part of Crash Bandicoot, uh, Crash Bandicoot, Crash Bandicoot Nitro Kart, Crash Nitro Kart, CNK, Knick, or whatever, if you wanted to say it like it's, you know, spelled or whatever. Um, and today we're going to Deep Sea Driving, we're playing as Crash, Crash is the guy that's on the front, so maybe that means it's him, you know, kind of like in Monster Thing Scare Island where it has like the picture of the character, it's kind of like, oh yeah, you meant to use this guy. I guess this is a, a Crash level, I suppose. Um, here we are. Okay. Two, three, go. Oh shit. And how I have missed you, Crash. You've been very missed. Now, th I think I've got the level name finally. Yeah, that bit there is, like, really reminds me of Mystery Cave, but it also reminds me of, it's like over there, reminds me of Ruse Tubes. Now, here we go. Here's where it becomes Ruse Tubes. This is totally Ruse Tubes. If you don't think this is Ruse Tubes, you haven't seen Ruse Tubes. Just like saying, if you don't think The Wire is the best show ever, you haven't seen The Wire. You know, it's kind of like that. Oh, I gotta put it in there. I have to. Right. Look at this, I'm putting in some huge effort. Doesn't you've got 19 boosts in a row and haven't even been able to still coming oh, I'll get out fourth, that's about to say. Still coming eighth and now I'm doing third. Probably second now if I can hit. Whoa. Now we've got a nice little thing here where you get to go like completely you can actually go completely circle, but like you can do a complete 360 loop. You can Tony Hawks this shit. But yeah, I won't do that, but watch see it kind of like you mentioned all the mitre glasses, it kind of shows you that that's the actual direction you end up being in. Um, so yeah, th this level really does borrow themes from like a whole, a, a wide array of crash levels. Like it feels like mystery ca caves or whatever cavern. It feels like, oh fuck you, jumping, what, get punished for jumping? That's a douche. No. Yeah, it feels like mystery caves that are bruised tubes and maybe even, in a way, energy labs, but probably not. I don't know, just kind of reminds me of that, but I'm probably, I'm probably completely wrong. Just, like, this world seems to be a very robotic, you know, you've got like the first level with all the robots, then you've got those other like weird robots in the second level in barren ruins or whatever, and then you've got this is just kind of mechanical underwater shit, shit um, which is nice, really nice, good stuff. The developers were, I mean, yeah, you could, you could pick, some people might say like, oh, it's not created to borrow ideas from Crash, but you know, if it's not broke, 
don't try and fix it. You know what I mean? That, that's a deviation of a, of a, a um, famous saying. But it's true. It's, you know, if it's not broke, if it isn't broke, don't try and fix it. Because it's it's fine. Like, you know, I just think they should try more of these. I'd rather almost have more of the same. I know this is pretty lame to say this, but I'd almost rather have more of the same lame crash games where they're just the same shit over and over again and then try and reinvent themselves so many times and just not get it right. Because, you know, a game like... Uh, Crash Tag Team Racing. I, I, I actually like that game. I think it's actually fun. It, it actually takes a nice plat chunk of platforming from the original games, puts it in a, a relatively restricted area, which is, you know, that's not, maybe that's just, that, that just makes sense because it's mainly about the racing. But then you've got like this kind of unique racing thing, which I don't think, I don't like the racing as much as I like it in, in Crash Team Racing and Crash Nitro Dark, because it's a bit more like, it has more of a shooting engine to it. But at the same time, like, you gotta get over that sometimes, you know, that's just the fact that things evolve, but it didn't evolve too much, that's the way I look at it, like, it didn't evolve so much where it was shit, like, but see, the other games, um, what's it called, uh, Crash and Time, they tried to change it too much, it just didn't work, so I would love more Crash Team Racing, or Crash Nitro Kart rip-offs, or, or, um, more Crash Rapid Cortexes, because, you know what, it's just it's a it's a theory, it's a theme that just works well. This kind of game it, it suits. Um, yes, we're done. We're done. Uh, let's skip. We've got a cutscene now. You now have six trophies. With this, you have earned the right to race Nash, Ben's champion. Nash was engineered to always move. He never stops or even sleeps. making Velo look like a huge badass, or at least like a douche, because everyone doesn't want to step up to him, he's like the dictator. Uh, and then, but that, uh, the, the new guy, the, the shark, shark boy, I want to call him, not the TNA, uh, ex-TNA star, but um, the sharky guy. Wait. When you enter a vortex, Sparky will ask which member of your team you want to race with. To better your chances of winning, choose the driver best suited for the track. See, that's what I was saying, you know, about how, you know, crunch to the suit certain levels and stuff like that. Um, let's continue with that saving once again. And we've got, whoa, the slid, that's pretty cool. So we've got, um, we're going to go down here, that's where the next challenge is. So yeah, the cutscenes, the cutscenes are really entertaining, actually, I quite like watching them. Um, oh, and that's the next one, Phenomena. Cool, I like that. All right, here he is, here's the magic head of, uh, Bar or not Baron or whatever his name is, yeah. Okay, anyway, thank you very much for watching, guys. In the next part, we're going to do the Baron Championship. Aldi doesn't mess around when it comes to grilling. You see, that's our fresh organic chicken. Juicy and tender, just like other stores. But, for a whole lot less. Organic chicken, everyday low prices. It's an Aldi thing. Okay, let's try the Baron Championship. I'm sure this is more of a challenge than the uh, Terra Championship, but we'll, we'll see, actually. Yeah, no, Crash Crash is good. I, I think Coco may have suited for this, but we'll see how it goes. But um, thank you very much for watching in advance. I hope you enjoyed this part. This is going to be an exhilarating adventure full, with, full of crashes and crying, maybe, because I probably will fail, I reckon. That's my guess. If you want, if you want my honest uh, assumption of this, I'm going to fail, but all right. Here is Nash, that's his name. I'm pretty sure the other guy's name is Terra as well. He's, that's just the world. I got mixed up. I keep calling Terra as if it was the guy. That's actually the world, but all right. Here we go. Nash, Nash is tough. Nash is, uh, you know, actually look at his graphic there. It's really cool. I actually reckon they did a better job on like the, the new characters than the old ones, actually. There's something really cool about, 
about his uh, style there. Really nice. Right. So the things that he throws out are these things here, and just fuck them. They're pain there. Oh, he throws them as well. Oh, dick. That's oh shit. See, look at that. That's a real dick move. Honestly, that's a real dick move. Wow. Okay. Let's focus. Let's try. We're going to get within enough space so we can hit him. Probably, I want to shoot this thing now, but I can just imagine it completely missing, like it usually does. Like, these things don't seem to be as accurate as they are in, um, what's the game? In, they don't seem to be as accurate as they are in Crash Team Racing. They seem to be a lot more, uh, annoying. Like, in fact, yeah, they just, in fact, they're pretty, pretty much out of shit in this game. It's like they couldn't get the, um, the aiming mechanism to work properly. Alright, ready? Actually, fair bit of fun now. Let's take, see, look at that, I'll take a shot. We were, nah, look at that, if I can hit one of those, actually, that, that's not, you know, exclusive to this game, like, if you think about it, uh, that happened in the Crash Nitro car as well, but it, uh, it's annoying. Alright. So this is, you can tell this is his homeland, just like you can tell the other one's his homeland, so, in the third world, I'm interested to see which one is the third boss, whatever his name is, I can't remember, I can't actually remember him, um, I'm interested to see what his, uh, his homeland would be like, but, I think we've almost got him, we've almost got him. Ah, oh, no. Douchebag. Okay, so I think I need to get right up to him. There we go, come on. No, oh, yes, did I get him? I'm pretty sure they got him, or at least he knocked into one of the things. Yes. This is hard, it's fast. Fast pace is fast and furious, or any of the six movies that there is. And is that... That's overkill, isn't it? Six Fast and Furious movies, Jesus. I'm pretty sure they'll probably do seven because their box office smashes, but anyway, enough about that. Let's, oh shit. No, no, and in the middle. That's kind of a strategic idea. It's interesting, when we don't have the uh, the team up thing, you kind of forget about it and, you know, you kind of race, but, you know, you kind of can become dependent on the team up thing. Um, like I kind of felt like I, you, know, you kind of check it. Sometimes you check it. Like, sometimes you forget about it, sometimes you're like, really like, oh shit, I missed having the, uh, the team up button, because it's kind of cool, actually. But, hopefully, oh no, no, that was, that was really fucking dumb, wow. It's probably going to catch up with that. But hopefully not. Let's get a boost, yes, time boost, oh no. Oh crap. I got a feeling this went badly, it's probably going to overtake at the very end. Come on. There we go, and that. This is crazy. 13 boosts in a row. 14, 15, 16, 17. There we go. Done. Awesome. Okay, that's great. All right, okay, here we go. I think we're going to get a cutscene now. Oh, hello there. Do you think I can get my team back? Such a, and actually, like she's the, she's got the same voice as um, Jimmy Neutron, you know, um, Nancy Cartman. Who is it? Is it her? No, no, Debbie Debbie Berry or something like that. Derry Berry. I can't I can't remember actually. I've forgotten. But yeah, it's so funny. Like the same fucking voice, and and, the, and that same kind of I don't know. I this is like this is a a a, uh, a definition I've made up myself. But I'm going to call her a turd nerd or a nerd turd. Just like kind of one of those nerds, like, oh my god, you know, I'm gonna hack your brain. Like, that does not happen. Sorry, but if she could hack the brain, then she could just hack Velo and fucking destroy Velo. So, oh shit. Alright, okay, let's. Here we go, onwards and upwards to the next level. Or onwards and forwards. Or to the door, onwards this way, that's all. Onwards and right to Frozen Frenzy. Thank you for watching, everyone. Frozen Frenzy, it is.
Okay, here we're going into Frozen Frenzy. Hello everyone, Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to another part of Crash Nitro Kart. And yeah, Frozen Frenzy, great level. Uh, oh, that's a really nice picture too, actually. It looks like, uh, well, uh, yeah, Trophy is in this game. I completely forgot about that. Um, there's so, so, many teams with te so many people in Team Cortex. Like, I'm pretty sure there's quite a few unlockable characters, which is a good thing. Um, so, yeah, this is Frozen Frenzy. Let's get the shortcut. Yes, good. Now, I think the trick is, make sure you just get everything in here. That's what I'm going to do, and don't do that, though. No, don't do that, no. So you see, this is kind of like, almost reminds me of the cabin in, uh, in Crash Bandicoot, uh, where are we going? Oh, let's go out here, try and go back, go back in here after. There you go, get this one too. Come on, yes, nice. Oh, shit. Okay, really, the trick to doing this level is just don't fucking, don't, um, make stupid mistakes like that. There we go. Actually, you know what, that was, that was intentional. That was in, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna chalk that up to intentional because seriously, that looked awesome. So yeah, there's. Um, I think there's a bit more time there was in the other level. Or maybe this duel was only two minutes anyway. But oh shit, that was risky. Risky shit. All right, whoa, that's nice. We've already got 11. We've got 41 seconds to go. Not too bad, must I admit. All right, but yeah, I really love. Like if you look at the walls there, that is so Crash Bandicoot uh, 2. Like just so much like Crash Bandicoot 2. It's not even funny. Okay, ready? Let's jump up here. Get this one, the 15. I'm kind of, kind of taking it slow, but at the same time not, because, oh yes, nice. Okay, 19 seconds to go. Oh no, yes, did I get it? I think I got it, yes. 18, oh this is it, 19, 20, holy crap. Wow, not too bad, not too shabby, Mr. Fisher. Look at that, done. Coco, Coco is definitely the recommended one, but just a few more things to talk about the level. It's really, really nice, like, once again, it encapsulates the feel of Crash Bandicoot 2. Uh, I love that encapsulate, that's a good word, isn't it? Encapsulate. Look up the definition if you're not too sure, but you know, you, you, if you know what the, like, the word, the, what words make up the word, you, you know what it means, encapsulate. It really does capture the feel of Crash 2, but really nice, really, really nice. At the starting line, your boost gauge will appear. Press the gas button to fill the gauge. If the gauge is in the red zone, when the light turns blue, See, actually, that's interesting. I, I never noticed that. I kind of just pressed it after the third one to get the boost up, but that's actually a good point. If you just do it like that, it's much more beneficial. Now, I'm pretty sure this is the first one here, isn't it? Meteor Gorge. All right, let's do Meteor Gorge. Thank you, everyone do, who watched. In the next part, Meteor Gorge is going to be a good part. So, hey, look, I'm on the other side this time. Hello, everyone. Crystal Vision here. Welcome to Meteor Gorge. It's a gorge. All right, okay, so, oh, sharks. Did I actually just click, click Crash Bandicoot there? Okay, whoops. Anyway, um, yes, this is Meteor Gorge, and it is a pretty good level, and we've already been here before, so there's no point trying to be all pleasant about it. We're, we're here to, we're here to get down to business. We're here to absolutely annihilate the CNK challenge, which I've never done before, so that's a reveal. I've never really done any of the CNK challenges. Like, you know, it's, it's a good thing, you know, in a way, like, playing this game, again, you know, again, it's kind of like playing, like, another Crash game in a way, like, again, because of the whole, you know, like, okay, well, I guess, you know, I don't play the new Crash games, I don't find too much value in the new games, but it's kind of cool to play this one, it's kind of like I'm playing a Crash game for the first time again, you know, like, the, it's like the final Crash game I've, I'll play, you know, like, that, that I've never kind of gotten through, and Twin Sanity, I guess I haven't played that in years, but I did beat Twin Sanity, I'm pretty confident I never actually fully beat this challenge. And I've also just realised, by talking like an idiot, I just realised that I'm completely missing the CNK challenge. I mean, the CNK token, sorry. So the first one, I'm pretty sure I saw it somewhere. It's here. Look at that, some shortcut. Wow. That's pretty cool, eh? That is actually pretty cool. Um, that one, I admit, I did have a look online just to double check, because I completely... I have not... That's really, really well hidden. Um, the M, I'm guessing it's probably just... Oh, shit, there's the... C Mr. C as well. Shit, Mr. C, Mrs. I, Mrs. S, S, I. What's that, that from? Yeah, Mrs. I. Yeah, that's, that's from Matilda. That's the second Matilda reference in this fucking LP. Wait, okay, wait. Oh, they, oh shit. Mistake. In the words of Job, I've made a huge mistake. And just to tell you how far behind I am in terms of life recording, I suppose, um, Arrested Development is out in T minus uh, 36 minutes. For me, because uh, I'm recording this on the 26th of May, in 26, yeah, 26th of May, 
So yeah, it's probably been a while since this is, this is probably been up. It's probably been, I'm going to guess this is to today, the day you are watching this, like if you're out the day, the day this is uploaded, I'm guessing it's like the 8th, no, I'm going to say it's the 15th of June. That's my guess, 15th of June, but I could be horribly wrong. It says, yes, there's the C, and there we go, we've got C and K. Nice, actually, very, very close there. I was a bit worried there. I was, I've been focusing, talking, so it's kind of like, shit, shit, is this actually happening? Am I actually doing this? And I, and I did, almost subconsciously. Very proud of myself there. Oh, shit, but I'm not proud of myself for these actions. Jesus, that's fucking retarded. What the hell am I doing? Oh, my God. Moron sometimes. Let's get back. Oh, I missed. Shit, shit, shit. Oh, he's in front. Douche. Is that Dingo Dial? Yeah, you're a douche, Dingo Dial. Dingo douche. All right. But, yeah, um... Arrested Development, like, that's why maybe I sound really, really excited or fast, because I'm just like, oh my god, my life is going to explode. Like, I'm, I'm actually going to die. New Arrested Development, like, I, I can't handle that. But, um, yes, yeah, enough about Arrested Development. Let's go on to the next challenge, shall we? This is going to be fun. Okay, Relic Race Time. Here we go. This is not going to be easy, I will say. Right, ready? And go. Nice boost, nice start. So yes, really, right, I, I mean, I think I'm probably going to say, I think I, sh I think I should stop saying, uh, this is not going to be easy, because I'm pretty sure I've said it pretty much the entire time now. So, um, maybe I'll just say it once more, once more, just as a farewell. This is not going to be easy. And maybe I'll say it again. This is not going to be easy. <laughs> and as I'm saying that, I'm actually doing a decent job so far. Oh, yes, nice. Oh, shit. <laughs> That's a bit of a slow down. Too, too much jumping. Uh, in the words of that band that said jump around, I'll just repeat them and say, jump around, jump around. Okay, anyway, I'm, I'm still hyper arrest development, you know? It's arrest development syndrome. Oh, yes. Oh, that was very lucky. Wow. Ready? Get that one, too. It was only okay. We've almost got, we've always got, uh, oh, shit. No, I was going to say, we almost had them all, but then I took an arrow in the knee. Okay, what is the references going on today? By the way, I actually fucking hate that reference, that arrow in the knee bullshit. Sorry, I remember, I think it was like Nintendo in 64 one of my friends, his brother, said it, and I was just like, shut the fuck up once to my mum's comments, or at least I said something like, that's just not funny. So, yeah, well, I never found it funny. Okay. Oh, I missed that one too. Let's get the three, though. Yeah, I think the three. That was a bit of a waste of time, but at the same time, you know what? It happens in his life. There's three. That's a good one. Actually, there's boosts in this one I'm finding overall. Not as difficult, um, in a good way, because you know what, it's, uh, it's tough sometimes, this, this game. Right, let's get that one, three, nice. And then this one's the one I've got to get, like, oh shit, missed that one entirely as well. What the hell? Okay, so I guess, I can't remember how many, I think, don't you get like a time off as well, or minus time, if you actually, um, get like almost all of them, like you get like, if you get like 32, you get like maybe two seconds off or something like that. I can't exactly remember, but I'm pretty sure, at least I think in night in crash team racing, um, that that's what happened. That was the gist of it. But okay, seriously, don't waste your time in this fucking stuck it I'm stuck in the mud. If it was not mud. Does it, does it ever, did anyone actually play that as kids, like stuck in the mud, that, that game, you know, where you where you get when you get stuck, when you get like tagged or whatever, you have to like pretend you're like stuck in the mud and you have to like do all this cool shit, like crazy antics, like classic, you make a classic video game, you know, make a classic game. There we go, and 136. Oh, okay. gold, gold, that's okay, and Platinum was 125, so not too, I'm, I'm impressed with that, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, but I'm not going to give myself the pride, it's just going to be CMK, I really should have, you know, made my mark there and said, Crystal Fisher, yeah, but nah, I didn't. That's okay. But anyway, that that is for the final time we bid goodbye to that level, a great level. Um, and hope, I wonder if uh, good old Aku Aku has anything to say. I'm, I'm going to guess no, he doesn't. But ah, uh, well, that's what happens. You win or die. You won a rally. And no, we don't get anyone. All right, next level is, I believe it's this one. This isn't deep sea driving, I don't think. Barren ruins. Okay. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. It's much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying the LP so far. In the next part, Baron Ruins. Let's go. Hello, everyone. Crystal Vision here. Welcome to Baron Ruins. We're about to go there. We're about to do the CNK challenge. 
And I'm going to pick Crunch. You know, I, I want some speed in this challenge. Um, I mean, I guess CMK challenges are probably more beneficial to pick maybe like a Coco to get some more versatile turning, stuff like that. But to be honest, uh, you know what, that's okay. We'll, we'll just give this a go. Um, and it is 4 o'clock p.m. right now. just thought I'd let you know. The rest of the development is out in 30 minutes my time. I know I can't make that a running joke. Like, as I go, every part's like a rest of the development coming out. But for you viewers, it's out more, like, days at a time. You know, oh, what? It's already been a month since the rest of the development, you fuck. That's what I can imagine someone saying. But, okay, ready? Get the boost. Nice. All right, so, once again, this is completely blind. Um, do I have any idea where CNK is? Absolutely not. Uh, do I like not knowing? Uh, not really, if you want me to be perfectly honest, because otherwise I've got no idea where to fucking go. Um... Alright. Oh, shit, okay. Okay, there's the C. And I fell on the stuff, that's great. Okay, well at least we've got the C. See, the, the, the trick is, if you try and get them all in one lap, you can pretty much then just use, do the chase, you know what I mean? Just chase, chase for the rest of it, which is, which is good. Um... N... N... I have no idea. Is this... we're not... There's the end, there's the end. Okay, good, good, good. Alright, and maybe I should conserve these, but you know what? Life. Dude, this whole bit here, I don't know why, it reminds me so much of um, Super Speed, like, I don't know why, just like the jump, I suppose, I, I don't know. There's the end. Oh, shit, a brick factory. That's a uh, shout out to my friend Kieran for saying that, shit a brick factory. He was quite, he was quite an avid user of that term. Hey, Kieran, how's it going? What's going on, my friend? Oh, anyway, enough of that shit. Enough of that fucking shit. Just kidding. Um, let's continue. I'm actually, oh shit, I'm actually doing eight, so great job, me. Uh, give myself a round of applause. I, I hope to hear a collective round of applause in the comments section. Please, tell me how much you're clapping me. But you're probably just slow clapping, you know, like the sarcastic, you know, senior Chang kind of clap, which, by the way, is, is completely welcome. Any community reference at all is, uh, is welcome here. All right, so... Let's get the end. Let's get the end. Now, I think it's on this side, isn't it? There it is. Watch your six. I sure as hell will watch my six. And maybe I'll watch my seven. Or my 15 episodes of Arrested Development. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> that, that happens if you're being a fucking arsehole about it. Oh, look, it's only 28 minutes to go now. Right, anyway, let's just do this too soon. Okay, ready? We've got to get enough of a boost here. Get the... Okay, so... Now it's essentially all about the chase. Um, I've got a feeling this isn't going to end up well. Just saying, just want to point that out. I think it's going to be a disaster to catch up. They're very far in front. They've already done like the loop to loop thing. So, alright, let's do this. Let's, if we can do this, I'll be really happy. But, okay, ready? Here we go. We're in some nice super speed here. But this section here, really nice lighting, and, and like the crystals are some of the finest crafted. Uh, devices in this, in this level, and whoa, I did not remember that being there, wow, okay, wait, get enough speed, oh, shit, 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 I don't feel like I can have enough time, and the motion blur is just really off-putting, but kind of useful in a way, um, okay, come on, okay, oh, we're so close to the end, yes, 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 oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, no, they're about to make it, they're about to make it, aren't they, oh, no, that's, that would be a decent chase, but no, not enough. Not enough. Alright, you know what? I reckon that race was spectacular. So, even though we got the CNK, you'll see what happens is we don't, unfortunately, get it. So, I'm going to cut back to as we win, because I reckon that was a good, good kind of commentary sesh. got a victory. Done. Alright, that was good. Sorry about that. I just thought, yeah, we might as well cut and show off, you know, the ones I got, but not, not too bad, not too shabby. Alright, onward to the Relic Challenge. Alright, here we go. Another tough challenge. Once again, playing up the whole thing that I say that everyone's tough, but it, it's true. I, I don't lie. Okay. Um, Alright, ready and boost. Yes, nice start. Okay, so... I reckon the fact that there's so many little twists and turns here, and the fact that I've only missed one and completely slowed down, basically gives me little to no hope that I'll be able to get a gold. I, I did a pretty decent effort last time, I, I will say, you know, that was not, not bad when I got the gold. 
and it was only like a couple of seconds, about like 10 seconds off uh, the other one as well, getting a, uh, a platinum. So, you know, that, that's not bad, but... Okay, there we go. Whoa. Whoa, it's kind of... It's a bit strange. Shit. Wow, that was like too fast for me. Too fast for me. Yeah. Whoa, okay. This is a bit of a technical little area too, actually. So I'm just going to take it slow, and you fucking piece of shit dick douche. Okay. Try and insert, insert any, uh, you know, insult here, and look at that. Well, I didn't know you could actually... I, did, I think I did know, but I kind of was like, ah, oh, well, I'm not going to try that. Why not? Why would I try that? And, you know, it turned out to be... Ah, fuck. Seriously, I actually doubt my own ability of even being able to get a bloody silver here. There we go, like that. Nice, nice, okay. Get that one. Yes, there we go. And there's two there. Oh, for fuck's sake, ah. Oh. Jesus, this one, all right. Um, so what's there more to say? I mean, I've talked about this little area here before. I really like it, but um, let's try and analyze some of the rest of the level, maybe. Um, we've got some nice looking shit here. Whoa, we're almost falling off. I'm going on this side to collect these ones. There we go, nice. Okay, wait, let's try and go on the inside here, see if there's any, oh, there's two there. Pretty sure there are three as well coming up. Uh, wait, there's two. And three, no, there's not three. Okay, I kind of just been a bit slower than I really should have, but yeah, this little area is nice. I wonder how these levels make sense geographically. Like, I mean, I know it's a video game, you don't need to think about the whole, like, how fast, I guess, how, how, like, these places, these locations would make tracks, but it is kind of an interesting area. Like, I wonder what they would have used this, like, the people that live here, how they use these kind of worlds. It's just kind of something to think about. It's kind of something to think about what, while you're recording a Let's Play, talking to yourself, you know? It's one of those things you, you, you tend to do, isn't it? Alright. It's a 28 out of 45, not, not too shabby, but still kind of shabby. You know what I'm saying? There's a one there. We've got all these in this area. We've got 30 out of 45. That's a it's an okay job, but that was definitely not good, missing all them. But yeah, let's, let's get them. I, I thought, you know what, it's a must, I must. Ah, oh, that three would have been really useful. Holy crap. Right. Whoa. See that? That kind of like glitched because I guess I bet you could do some crazy like jumping shit with with that thing if you like did it properly. I don't know how to explain it, but it would look pretty awesome. All right, two. Okay, and goal is one fifty eight. Damn! If I got that three, I would probably take this three and the other one. I think I would have got that. Yeah, just about. Okay, C and K. Anyway, that's that's okay. All right. So, uh, Zem and Zam, okay, they're, they're different guys, so maybe they're just randoms or do you reverse them later? Like, I don't know. But, ah, oh, that, that makes sense, of course. Because I was always looking at those other guys, I'm like, well, who are they? But, yeah, there must be unlockable characters or other bosses or mini things. That, who knows, who knows? But there's so much about this game I haven't unlocked or know about yet. Um, personally, I'd love an appearance from Ripperoo, but my wishes won't be, won't be fulfilled, unfortunately. But that is another level down, another level done. And now we can go, not into here, just, but I just like going in here because it's so awesome. It's like Ruse Tube. See, look, this whole thing it just screams Ruse Tubes, you know? It's, it's mocking us by not having Ripper Roo with us, you know? Alright, that one, no, we've already got that. There's one more to go, and I'm pretty sure it's here. Shit, 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 shit. It's that, that is a fucking, it's slide, you slide in. You slide in, so... Uh, Alright, the, anyway, the next part we're going to deep sea driving should be fun. Thank you very much for watching everyone, as usual. Take care, spike your hair. Woo, 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 farewell for now. Surprise! Cena's hosting Shark Week! Shark Week is back, hosted by John Cena. I can hold my breath for almost five minutes. What? We're going to put ourselves in the middle of the universe. What could be more dangerous in the water top? This has been the coolest week of my life. Schools versus the boys. Who is the alpha man? Might we have a new six star here? Look at that! We're about to get chugged by chums. Short Week, hosted by John Cena, starts Sunday at 8 on Discovery and stream on Max. Deep sea driving. We're diving. We're driving in the sea. Deep. Deep sea. What the fuck? Okay, that was an absolutely terrible intro. Alright, and oh shit, that, that was actually not on purpose. I just want to let you know, no way would I put pit crunch for this level. Like, no. Okay, no. I would never pit crunch for this level. But unfortunately, my own idiocy, my own butter fingers, if you will, to reference uh, 
What's that movie? Spy Kids? Yeah, that's right. Got me, even though I've actually... My hands are perfectly fine, so whatever. Alright, here we go. Deep sea driving. This is good. Alright, ready? Beep. 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 Oh, oh fuck, do you know re no boost? That's pretty retarded. Alright. No, C, I knew the C would be in there, because that is such a ripper roo um, that was so Roo's tubes, yeah, and I said it looked like remind me of Roo's tubes. That that was so Roo's tubes slash mystery caves. Right. Oh shit. Now T T uh I would have no clue. I mean N, sorry, N, not T. Fucking hell, how many times are we gonna get it mixed up? I guess it's fair enough, I mean it is. They are so similar these games. Oh shit, there's the end. Wow. Oh. No, you know what? I'm too scared to do that jump because I can just imagine it backfiring so damn hard that it backfires so damn hard. So, I'm sorry, I'm not going to give it a go. Now, I'm guessing that the K is somewhere, like, around here somewhere. That's my guess. But I could be completely wrong. Oh, there it is. Wait. There it is. Look at that. Nice, nice hiding. Very nice hiding. And we can do the team up. Perfect time to do the team up. Oh, what? Oh, shit. Oh, yeah, because you think you can get hit, you lose a team up or something like that. I can't, can't, I'm guessing that, that that would be the most conclusive evidence that I just kind of fucked up there and. Oh, shit, you stupid bitch. Oh, no. Hey, good job. Good job, everyone. Thank you. I'd like to thank my parents for supporting me throughout this terrible, terrible part. The way I'm not home right now. Alright, um. Alright, we all boosts. Alright, so what else can I say about this level as well, just to kind of break up the commentary of, oh, now we do this, now we do that. Um, these machines are pretty cool. But yeah, as I did point out how this is like such a mechanical home world. It's kind of like ice mechanical, you know, kind of mix. It's kind of a mix, not just like typical ice shit. It's kind of like ice advanced, you know what I'm trying to say? And then I guess there's water elements to it as well, because, you know, deep sea driving of course but I like I do I know I think I like the other two levels even though I do commend this level's creativity um, at the same time it is still just kind of like Bruce Tubes but without the initial without the actual charm of Bruce Tubes like Bruce Tubes is a really charming level you know there's some, some great aspects to it and this this did okay definitely didn't do bad but just not as not as good you know what I'm saying I hope you know what I'm feeling Bruh. Right, there we go one two three third and use one more and use one more, and no, and we're out. Okay. But I'm glad we got the CNK already. I want to try that shortcut out, but not now. I'm coming third, and so at this point, if I was to do it, it just wouldn't, it wouldn't work. But where is it exactly at? It's... Where is it? Quick. Oh, so you go down that way. Okay. Actually, that wouldn't be too hard. Maybe I should show that off, like... Ah, oh, shit! You fucking be more careful with this shit. Shit, 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 shit. This is not good. I don't want to have to re revert back again like last time. Crap, crap, crap. What the fuck is that accent? That is the worst Australian accent I have ever heard in my life. You hear that? Like, stay out of my way or I'll fucking kill you, mate, you fucking sack. Jesus, that's terrible. All right, anyway. Done. Not bad, not bad. Not easy, 3 minutes 20, I, oh, the relic one, once again, as I continue to say, shit, shit, alright, let's walk from there now, let's do the time warp again, that, that wasn't really poor, um, thing, trying to sing time warp, it wasn't really trying to get the notes right, anyway, the point is, I say time warp because I haven't recorded a part of this in, it's been, I think it's now at this point been over two months um, and I'm kind of shocked by my own um, lack of uh, the audacity for me to not record a let's play part of this game in two months, that's disgusting it's almost as bad as um, that other game, what's it called, that one that I've just forgotten about, you know, Crash uh, I mean, no, sorry, no, not, not Crash shit, what's it called again, what's that one with the Bugs Bunny that's it the one with the bugs bunny. Whoa, we'll make it across. There we go. Oh, that was professional. Um, yeah, it's been quite some time. I haven't recorded bugs bunny either. There's apologies. I'll get onto that next. I, I really want to get back into all things probably. But yes, welcome back to um, this. We've already done the uh, CTR challenge. And then basically, I'll tell you what happened. What happened was I um, 
got sick and just kept on failing this. I was playing as Coco. Now, Zimbo, this guy by the name of Zimbo, said in uh, my comment section, likely I did do it now, he said, you know, use, use Crash and will help, you know, for, for uh, deep sea driving. I think that's what he said. Um, and yes, he was right. Uh, good idea. Definitely use Crash. I, I noticed that, you know, obviously Crash is meant to be the all-rounder. He's got the speed. And yeah, Coco just isn't suited for this because I realise that the corners are turning in this game, in this level, they aren't like, they're not like impossible, you know what I'm saying? Like they're, they're um, it's, it's a bit tricky, it's a bit of a tricky track, but it's not unbelievably so, you know what I mean? So basically I thought, okay, you know what? I'm actually going to use Crash and not going to worry about the, you know, the little intricate little turns that maybe Coco could do better or acceleration, whatever it is, whatever. And okay, that bit there, I think you just have to not boost and don't boost, don't steal guys, don't boost. Boosting product, breaking bad, okay. So, you know, other than that, I, I, I think I did say in the CTR challenge how much I do love the look of the level, but seriously, like, far out. I'm glad to be never coming back here. It's just like, um, what's that level? It's just like the umpire strikes out and gets to. Once I recorded it in an LP, I'm like, finally, I'm never gonna have to do that shit again. Thank the Lord. Okay, wait. Get that one. Oh, shit, now it's the right one. Yes. Okay, lucky. 128, 128. We've got, like, another 50 seconds to make it to the end. I reckon it's possible, to be honest. I hate that little bit switch there. I apologise profusely on behalf of uh, PCFX2 emulator. I'm sure um, you'll get better over time. You know, it still is amazing that I'm playing this on an emulator. So, you know, thank you, emulator. You've, you've been fantastic. But please don't just crash me at the end of the game or something ridiculous like that. No. Damn it, fail. Ah, uh, whoops. There we go. You jump at the, I jumped at the last second there. That was the trick. Now let's just, oh, I, had, I can't remember where they are, like what, what area they are, here's another one, you know, I, I'm going to be arrogant and not use it, I didn't even, I was, I probably do need it, and what the hell, he's still like Spongebob, like, I probably did need that, but you know what, I want to get the full boost going, oh yeah, 211, gold's 205, doable, yeah, if I, if I focus on getting some more of the, the coin thing from these um, crates, um, but yeah, you know, whatever. Okay, so uh, it feels good to be back, but you know what? I'm really glad that I'm not doing that level again. Um, goodbye, deep sea driving. You were you were nice to have. You were great. You know you you impressed me. You finessed me. You cared about me. And what am I even talking about at this point? Anyway. Super job. You won a belt. Thanks. Okay. So now I think. Nah, you know actually I reckon is there? Can, I think you can go to the next world from. Somewhere down here, I'm pretty sure, isn't it? Let's have a look. Phenomena, that's it. It's, you know, for, yeah, I love the way they do the, spell, do the spelling, it's like all obscure. So yes, Phenomena, now, this is where we're, I'm, I'm venturing into semi-blind territory, where I've never actually done, played this, like, I, I think I didn't even get up to the third board, I, I think, I, did I say in a previous part that I had beaten the game, because I think that's actually a bold-faced lie. Uh, maybe I got up to it, but didn't beat it, I know it. Yeah, maybe. I, I, I really can't remember. But um, is this the right way to go? I'm hoping it is, but it probably isn't. Um, yep, it's not the right way to go. Okay. But look at this. This is pretty cool, though, isn't it? Isn't it? Isn't it? No. Oh, crap. Um, no, seven. Clockwork Swamp. Oh, Clockwork Orange, you know, um, the movie. Malcolm McDowell's in there, I think. Yep. Malcolm McDowell's in Community, too. Okay, here we are, here we are. Well, it's right in front of me, right at the beginning. Here we are. Let's go to Out of Time, not Out of Tune. This isn't Gex 2. It's Out of Time. See you later, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Sorry, big guy. You won't get into these. Next house, maybe. Hello, all. Crystal Fisher here. Welcome to Out of Time, not Out of Tune. This isn't Gex 2. I think I said the same thing at the end of the last part, but it's true. We're going to out of time. We've got a nice new loading screen. Uh, really, loading screens were some of... I'm, I'm guessing Charles and Billis, um, one of the, you know, like the original Crash guy, would have had an absolute ball doing... I, I'm going to guess he, he animated these or, or drew it, sorry. Um, really great, great character animation. Um, really good stuff. Okay, let's do this. Trophy race, out of time. Here we go. Three, two, 
one boost, go. Is that the right way? Yeah, that's all right. Okay, and as you can see, the track is full. Now, what do you see in, when you see this level? Do you see Dingo Canyon? Because that's all I see. I, I just see this as a remake of Dingo Canyon. Um, and is that a bad thing? No, because Dingo Canyon is a cool level um, in, in Crash Team Racing. Uh, but yeah, if, you know, they've they jumped and they've changed it up. You know, it's, I don't know. Part, like, at least when I was younger, I used to think, yeah, Dingo Canyon, but you know, like certain aspects are nothing like Dingo Canyon. This bit here, you know, this, is a, this is an exclusively CNK, um, exclusively a CNK exclusive, yes, you know. It's true, though, it is. Um, so, you know, and, and it feels like this has gone even more faster now um, for some reason. Not more fun, but it's gotten faster. Sorry, there you go, it's gotten faster. It feels like it's a it feels like it's a real frenzy, you know, as it says in, uh, whoa, like, I, it feels so weird, like, I'm back playing, um, Crash Nitro Kart, like, you know, from, like, such an absence, like, two months absence, it's like I'm going to get used to it all over again, what the fuck off, douchebag, okay, wow, okay, so it's charging right now, I really, this is like a level where I think you really need to kind of hit your enemies, like, the difficulty curve seems to have increased, or the difficulty has increased, so that there is a difficulty curve. Sorry, I'm mincing my words today. I'm mincing my lettuce tomato sandwich. Yeah, okay. Um, so yeah, it does seem to be kind of more difficult already. I mean, I'm playing first, but that this has taken some pretty rigorous playing. I will say that. Use that. Oh no, no. That see, see that is douchebag personified. Anyone that does it's a douche. Now, if only I hit that earlier, but whatever. This little corner here, very, very round. Look at that corner, very nice. You've got to boost around that really intricately, you know. And then we're coming fifth now, so great start. Um, God, what? I didn't try to attack my friend, you fuck. Oh, wow, that's bad. Get seventh place and poop a jump. But that, that's not what I usually call it, just sometimes. Like, it really, really depends. Like, poof, poof. I wonder if, 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 if there's a question that has been asked to the developers of what, what actually is, does that mean? Um, I'm going to say someone asked that. Oh, yes, we team up. Yes, suck in. Suck eggs, as my mother would say. It's a nice way of saying, like, suck in, you fucking sack. Okay. And we have another one of these. Oh, God. Oh, yes, boost, boost, boost. Boosting. Oh, yeah. That's some good stuff. Okay, but, you know, inevitably.